Yo, what up everybody? Um, so today's video is gonna be about me meeting DeMarcus Cousins going to the Sacramento Kings versus the Nuggets game. Filming this a uh, week after. Just wanna say, first of all, you know, as like an intro to the video, I've known DeMarcus Cousins since, you know, he was a rookie in the NBA. Um, he's been with, he watched me grow up and I watched him grow up in the NBA. Um, just really been a huge fan. If you haven't seen the video, I literally talk about how I got to know him and my collection and some other stuff. But, um, you know, I got so much respect for him. A lot of people, you know, don't understand this, but he's very misunderstood off the court. He is one of the most amazing human beings and he is a very talented basketball player. And he still's got, he still has the game. You know, he showed a lot of love. Uh, he always has to my family. Uh, we lost my sister in 2016 and DeMarcus Cousins, um, you know, and his team and his manager, they all, you know, reached out to us and, and he was leaving us tickets and just asking us if we needed anything during 2016. That was one of the toughest years for our family. And uh, up to the, some of the great times, you know, he's given me his jersey, his shoes, gave me his headband in that video. Um, I just have so much love for him. He's my favorite player. I collect him. I don't sell any of his cards. I never will. I, I could care less if his card goes up to $10,000. I don't care. Um, he's my guy. He's my favorite player. So with that, just a little bit of a backstory. Um, huge shout out to DeMarcus. Shoot, huge shout out to Andrew, uh, Scoop, Diego. You guys have always been good to me. Sam, um, thank you guys always for, you know, making it happen. And, and all, most importantly, DeMarcus, you know, we're always in your corner, bro. Uh, my family's got mad love for you and uh, keep it up, man. We're so proud of you and I can't wait to see you play in the playoffs. So let's go. Comment who you PC. Who do you guys collect? I want to know who you collect. I'm curious to see who you guys PC, kind of like how I PC DeMarcus. Who's your guy? I'm at the office right now. You guys actually don't see a lot of videos from me doing them out here. But look who I'm about to go see play. I'm going to the Denver Nuggets for Sacramento Kings game. We're gonna see DeMarcus play. Let's go. First time back here in a minute. I haven't seen DeMarcus play in two years. Tonight's tonight. Let's go. Yo, let's go. Big cuz, welcome back, brother. What's up, man? Oh, oh, man. oh shoot. That's so sick. Beat. Let's go. Sick. Appreciate you, dude. Hey, G. Go. This is my Kim Pazzo. Watching the Nuggets right now. Hey, OG Matt. Good movement. Crash board. See it. See it. Let's go, baby! I got it. Can I get your head, man? My dog, man, you know what's wrong. Well, Appreciate you, bro. bro. <laughs> I'm going to see you in Denver, right? Thank you, baby. Bro. Thank you, baby. Bro. Thank you, baby. Bro. Thank you, baby. Bro.
All right, so actually to end this video, I want to show you guys some of the autographs I got. Obviously, you know, I talked to Marcus after the game. He came up to me and, and I was talking to him kind of into the game a little bit at the end. And uh, he ended up telling me he'd give me his headband and just super cool. He, he showed love after the game, um, did that video with me, which is, I haven't seen him in two years, man. It, it meant a lot to me. I've been traveling a lot and um, I don't know, I just, there was a time when I watched him every game and, and I don't get that luxury all the time. When he was playing with the Clippers versus the Suns, I almost flew out to LA and Phoenix to watch him during COVID, but I didn't end up going. And I had last time I saw him was when he was on the Warriors. So it, it's been a minute um, and to see him in the league on the Nuggets and, and to get a chance to see him play. And I watched all his games on TV, uh, it meant a lot. They actually got autographs. Um, surprisingly enough, I got to the game early. Um, I said, what's up to him before? And then I was like, all right, I'll bring some cards because I had these from breaks and some other stuff. And uh, I'll show you guys some of the stuff I got. So this is kind of a throwback. I got autographs before a game. So if you, people always want to ask, how do you get autographs before a game? You go when the doors open and hope for the best. They usually want you to have tickets near the tunnel. So in SAC, they're pretty strict. But, you know, I know other arenas, I think Portland, maybe Phoenix, you don't need tickets down there, but it's just a crapshoot. My advice to anybody, find out when the doors open and go to a game and see what happens. Go to like a random game where like you wouldn't mind if you wouldn't get any autographs and then go for it. But I'll show you guys some of the stuff I got signed. These are the guys that decided to sign. Um, I got Will Barton on a mosaic, another mosaic. Will Barton's one of the nicest guys. I've actually met him a handful of times. I met him when he was a rookie in the NBA and he always was a cool signer. Austin Rivers, actually this guy, the last time I got him was uh, I think NBA Summer League when he was a rookie. So pretty cool to get him. And then this was pretty cool. This was actually the first autograph I got, Campazzo right there for the Nuggets. And then I didn't see Michael Porter Jr. Aaron Gordon ran through. Uh, who else? Jamal Murray didn't travel. Jokic, I didn't even see him. So um, that's what I got. And of course, the most important thing, one of one logo man. There it is, the headband, which is pretty cool. Nike, I actually have never had a Nike headband. DeMarcus has given me shoes, his jersey, signed tons of autographs. And uh, you know, I got another headband under, under here. So that's pretty cool. Um, I have his headband when he was a rookie. One of his iconic games, I think he dropped maybe 53 points for the Hornets. I think that was a big one. And then I think I have this headband. And then uh, I also have his Kentucky headband from Jimmy from Kentucky Roadshow. Kentucky Basketball Cards gave me that as a gift. And uh, so this is the one from the video. So one of one right there, pretty cool. And it's just cool because it's right after the game, you know, he uh, played, handed it to me. And, and to think that they put this kind of stuff from the jerseys and headbands and cards and to just own it right after the game, like... I don't know, you just can't really beat that. Thank you all for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like and uh, subscribe. We're almost to 20K. Use my link down below for my whatnot link. Use the link, you'll get your first $10 spent on there. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great week. We got Chicago, we got Vegas, and then we got San Francisco coming up next for shows. We'll see you there.